here at uh, the Flandrian Hotel in Brackel, uh, Belgium, head of the Transcontinental. And I'm just going to go through a bit of a, a packing list. Um, so in my Arkel rear bag, I'm going to put a fresh pair of socks right at the bottom, just so there when I need it. Um, and then a Patagonia down jacket, it's going to get stuffed in the bottom, hopefully I won't need that too often. Uh, what do I go next? Um, it's difficult to, to know what to put in next. I'll go for my toolkit. So I've got a, a wolf tool. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a um, chain, quick link, and loads of tools in there. It's got a little thing that will go into my um, valve and take any sealant that gets stuck in there with a um, tyre tool in there as well. I have CO2. And then what I didn't have last time on a, um, my last ultra race was a pair of pliers, nice small pair of pliers, which fits nicely, very lightweight. I think like 42, 24 grams or 42 grams. Then a spare valve. Uh, Lazine pump. Fits in there. And then I've got an adapter for a Prester to Schrader so I can go into any um, petrol station and pump the tyres up with uh, an air compressor with a Topeak um, toolkit Allen key. Then I have a, a spare rear mech hanger, just in case. Hopefully I won't need that. And then for any tubeless repairs, I have this. And then some more tire levers, park tool. And that all fits. Then I'll put a tubulito in as well, just in case. And that all goes in the, in the bottom of my bike. So I'm going to be running a, a giant revolt uh, with GRX Di2, and then a giant uh, TT bar with a 76 Projects uh, mount, which my where is it? Yeah, exposure light goes on to. Fits in nicely here. Fits securely. And then for the TCR, we've got to run a bell um, due to the Vienna Convention requiring you to have a bell on your bike. And then I'll be running a Wahoo on the front, a Wahoo Rome. And then bottle wise, I'm going to be using two Fidlock bottles, they're about 500ml each, that clip on nicely. Uh, and then other bags, I've got a, a giant food pouch at the front here, which I'm going to stuff a load of science and sport energy gels into. fit as many as I can in. And then I've got plenty of energy if I need it. Avoiding any bonks. Try not to burst any. Fits in there. Got my shoes, helmet, and then glasses. Right, back to the Arco rear bag. So I've zip tied a rear exposure light onto the back, and that should run for about 36, I think 36 hours, oh, 48 hours is the longest run time. And then I'm putting some 
first aid kits and deep heat and all that jazz, ibuprofen and uh, paracetamol. And then some diarolite, which in case I um, need to rehydrate, which I'll try and have one of them every day. Um, right. And then I'm gonna put in here an Atticus um, waterproof, just in case it rains. Hopefully it won't. Uh, now I'll put two chargers for Europe and some knee warmers. And exposure charger, DI2 charger, and some antiseptic wipes. Now I'll put another spare tube and a spare pair of shorts. straps nicely onto the back here with a, a rack to keep it steady so what I like about the the Arco bag is it doesn't swing at all with a lot of bags without without a racking system it tends to swing when you're out the saddle but this one's solid and then a spare exposure um, rear light thanks to John Brown Then some spare cleats to go into the frame bag. Just in case I have to do any walking and, and break a cleat. Uh, two zip ties. Some uh, berry zero calorie electrolytes and then some immune um, S uh, science and sport electrolytes. I think these have uh, iron and vitamin C in them. Then I'm running a, a Dash L200 um, Giant Stages uh, bike computer as a spare. And then, of course, a buff. Passport, wallet, money. I'm gonna have to repack this afterwards, but I think you get the gist. Spare CO2, some lip balm. GoPro and a um, pro standard um, mount that goes in your mouth. Some toothpaste tablets and vitamin tablets. And go in the rear along with a spare mount for the for the rack and a clean Atticus jersey with a first aid bandit bandage and some um, action wipes toothbrush Jammy cream, sun cream, and two battery packs. One's 20,000 amps, and then the other one's 10, I think. Then I'll be running an exposure charger to charge the exposure lights.
also be running a camelback for extra storage so I can put my saurine, banana saurine, my marzipan and my two bananas and a, a mask into here. Along with a, a, spare, a spare front light. Some lubricant and disc brake wipes and some sealant. And also, when I'm not under pressure from filming, I'll put my phone, the um, safety harness for being seen at night, got a, a rear light, another rear light, a head torch, uh, some headphones, uh, Beats Wireless, uh, a spoon and a, a fork, then an Attica gilet, uh, a spare um, iPhone wire, well, just an iPhone wire, not a spare, and then two brevet, brevet gloves. And I think that's all I'll be carrying um, for this year's Transcontinental. I forgot to mention, I'll also be uh, using luchos, uh, which are 100% compostable leaf wrapping, so you can just eat them and then chuck the, the wrappers on the side of the road and they'll decompose. Um, yeah, so for TCR, I'll leave the link in the description of the, the tracking and I'm CAP142.